In this video, the eighth in the Getting Started series, we will be using the sweep command to create the bail arm wire and learn some additional functionality such as construction geometry, projections, 3D sketching, and playing along a path. Building on our previous work, we will now utilize the existing components to design the bail arm wire. Start by creating a component and naming it Bail Arm Wire. To define our sketch plane, we'll first create some construction geometry. This will allow us to create a sketch through the center of the cylinder in the bail arm. In the Construct menu, select Axis Through Cylinder and select the cylindrical face of the bail arm. A cyan axis line now runs through the axis of that cylinder. Let's repeat that command and also select the cylinder in the line roller. Refer to Exhibit 1. In the Construct menu, choose Plane at an Angle. Then, select the axis line in the bail arm. This will generate a construction plane tangent to the axis line. While the plane's angle around the axis can be adjusted, it should remain at zero degrees in this instance. Refer to Exhibit 2. Right-click on the construction plane and select Create Sketch. To ensure precise placement of our sketch lines, we need to project geometry onto the sketch. From the Create menu, choose Project Include, and then Project. Rotate the view to look inside the bail arm cylinder. Select the cylindrical face and press OK. This will project the cylinder's 2D outline onto the sketch. Navigate to Create, Project Include, Include 3D Geometry. Select the cylindrical face within the line roller. This action projects the cylinder's 3D edges into 3D space, rather than projecting them flat onto the sketch plane. Finally, go to Create, Project Include, Intersect, and select the angled axis line. This creates a point where the axis line intersects with the sketch plane. We just used three different projection types to gather information from our existing models to help us design the bail arm wire. Refer to Exhibit 3. Click on the top plane of the view cube to look at the sketch from the top. Use the line command to draw a line from the middle of the back projected line of the cylinder in the bail arm, 22 millimeters vertically. Refer to Exhibit 4. Start by drawing another line at a slight angle from the intersection point near the line roller. Then, horizontally constrain the two vertical points. Use the P shortcut key to access the project command. Change the selection filter to bodies, select the line roller body, and press OK. This action will project a silhouette of the entire body onto the sketch. Finally, use the parallel constraint to align the newly drawn line with the edge of the line roller. Refer to Exhibit 5. Create a three-point arc using the two existing endpoints and an additional point located above them. Next, initiate the Dimension command. Right-click and choose Pick Circle Arc Tangent. Select the newly created arc and then the projected line that the 22 millimeter dimension refers to. Then place the dimension and input 37 millimeters for the distance. 
To connect our sketch to the line roller, we'll create a short segment using the 3D sketching capabilities. From the sketch palette, select 3D Sketch, then choose the line tool from the Create menu. Start by clicking on the point where the axis intersects the sketch plane. A 3D sketch triad will appear at this point. The XY plane is initially highlighted, but you'll need to change this to the XZ plane, or the front plane. Click on the XZ plane within the triad, the grid will rotate vertically, and the XZ plane will be highlighted. This process allows you to control which plane you sketch and snap to. As you rotate the view, you'll notice that the cylinder's point doesn't lie on this plane, which is why we projected the geometry to snap to it. Move your cursor to the center point of the projected cylinder on the line roller. Ensure that the cursor changes to a circle, indicating that it has snapped to the point, and then click. To complete the line, click the checkbox next to the triad. Finally, turn off 3D Sketch in the Sketch Palette, as this option is not needed all the time. Refer to Exhibit 6. Use the Fillet command to fillet the right side of the arc 12 millimeters. Fillet the left side of the arc 20 millimeters. And then fillet the small corner 2 millimeters. And finish the sketch. To simplify the next few steps, deactivate the bale, bale arms, and real body components. Our next step involves using the sweep command to sweep a profile along the recently created path. But before we proceed, we must create the profile for the sweep and ensure that it's positioned on the path. In the Construct menu, select plane along path, and click somewhere along the path. Notice that you can drag the plane anywhere along the path. However, we want to drag it to the very beginning, at a distance of zero, and then press OK. Right-click on the plane and choose Create Sketch to create a sketch on that plane. Draw a 1.65 diameter circle using the end point of the path as the center point for the circle. Refer to Exhibit 7. To initiate the Sweep command, access the Create menu and select Sweep, which will open the Sweep dialog. First, choose the circle to serve as the profile. Next, Click the Select button adjacent to the path, and then select the desired path within the viewport. Due to the Chain Selection option being enabled, all tangentially connected segments of the path will be automatically selected as a continuous chain. A circle is a pretty straightforward shape to sweep. Let's complicate things by sweeping a more intricate profile. Edit the final sketch in the timeline, change the circle to construction geometry, and then create a circumscribed polygon that snaps to the construction circle's radius. Then click Finish Sketch. Refer to Exhibit 8. The sweep feature in the timeline will turn yellow because the profile it used for the original sweep has been converted to construction geometry. To update the sweep, edit the sweep feature in the timeline, select the hexagon profile, and then press OK. Notice how the hexagon profile is now being swept along the path. From the main menu, click the down arrow next to the undo icon. Then, from the undo tree, Select Undo Edit Sketch, 
which is approximately five steps down. A quick way to turn all of our components back on is to right click on the top level and select Show All Components. Activate the top level component to unghost all of the other components. Press the Save icon to save the assembly. In the next video, we will use the loft command to create the handle.